All right. Okay. Uh, welcome you. Um, I mean, basically, welcome um, to this uh, Selenium course. And uh, so, in the next four weeks, uh, basically, what I intend to do is uh, cover everything uh, that is listed in here. Um, so, if you go right under the Selenium course, uh, you will see that um, we have uh, Selenium with uh, C Sharp .NET, and we have Selenium with Java. Um, of course, I'm not going to talk much about cshop.net. Um, uh, what we will do is, since this is a Java course, I'm going to be giving you one or two videos of the cshop.net just to, um, you know, make sure that you have uh, some idea of what it is. But if you really need to get into in-depth uh, knowledge of cshop.net with Selenium, that's the course that you should be taking. All right. So uh, this particular course is not going to talk about. Uh, um, it's not going to talk about C .net. This is all Java that we'll be talking about. Okay. Now, with that said, um, let's see what we will be covering. The whole idea, the goal here, the objective here is uh, to learn about um, automated um, software testing. So, um, when we talk about software testing, um, now for uh, you folks who have attended uh, some of my demo classes with the other uh, automation testing tool, you would know that. Uh, um, I have covered this in the past that uh, your applications uh, basically uh, are um, classified as uh, um, your uh, mainframe applications, right, and uh, your uh, client server applications, right, um, and your uh, web applications and uh, mobile applications. All right. Okay. So. Uh, using Selenium, you cannot do client server, you cannot do mainframe. You could do a web application testing and also to a certain extent mobile application testing. Unfortunately, as a part of this course, I'm not going to be covering mobile applications, so we will be covering the web application testing. All right. Okay. So uh, the objective of this uh, course is to uh, make you an expert as far as the web applications testing is concerned. Okay, in terms of web applications, um, what is a web application? Anything that runs in a browser, right? Anything that runs in a browser can be called as a web application. So um, there are different browsers, right? We all know that there is IE, there is Firefox, there is Chrome, and uh, there is uh, what? What are the other um, uh, browsers, right? Um, and what's the the one that we use with uh, Apple. Anybody? Um, so we talked about uh, Internet Explorer. We talked about Firefox. We talked about Chrome. We talked about Opera. So uh, what is the browser that we use with uh, Macs or uh, your um, Apple Apple's operating system? Anybody? Come on. Have you heard of uh, uh, Safari? Okay. All right. So the idea here is uh, we will be seeing as how your application looks in different uh, browsers. So we'll be doing something called a um, on a different um, browser testing. That's what we'll be doing. Okay. Um, so we will be working with uh, the most uh, uh, popular uh, browsers. So the popular browsers uh, being Internet Explorer and Firefox and uh, Google Chrome. Um, I will teach you these three. Um, in order to test the Opera and Safari and all that, uh, I will leave that as a part of the assignment and then I will challenge you a little bit on that. And uh, you have to complete that. If you cannot complete, then we will help you out uh, how to do that testing. Now, um, that brings us to a very interesting topic and that is uh, your uh, assignments. Um, what kind of assignments are you supposed to be? completing as a part of this course. There are eight sessions. Each session is two hours long. At the end of each session, I will be handing you uh, out an assignment. So if there are eight sessions, um, guess how many assignments you're going to be having? Eight assignments. For you to complete an assignment, it might take a good hour or uh, hour and a half. Right? That's what it takes for you to complete the assignment. What are we going to be asking you to do in an assignment? Basically, the tasks that I would be handing out as a part of the assignment is not to um, put any load on you, not to punish you, not to uh, sort of like, uh, you know, kill time. The idea here is we learn everything so that you have a complete hands-on 
hands on experience when you get out of this course so in the in the um, uh, assignments or in the tasks that I would be handing uh, you out we will be covering many scenarios what scenarios are we going to be uh, dealing with the scenarios that you will come across if you are actually working on a project at um, at work so they might be asking you um, to do sort of like a um, creating a uh, let's say a framework so one of the assignments is you have to create something called a data driven framework so when we are talking about data driven right framework uh, that means that you have to be connecting to an repository an external uh, source of data so your data would be sitting in what is called an excel excel sheet so you have to um, know everything about how you could connect to excel bring the data pass it to your script so that the script could go and get executed and then you bring the results and then um, compare the results from the actual result to the expected result and mark them as pass or fail based on your comparison all right okay so all that is going to be a framework that we will be building so that's a data driven framework there are also different types of frameworks like a hybrid and a keyword and all that so we'll be looking into all such frameworks now in order to build a framework you have to you have to write some code that brings us to another interesting topic and that is a code code means that you have to program so if you have to program they, you got to be knowing some programming language. Now, Arabia asked a question, and like she asked a question, a lot of other folks uh, also uh, have been asking this question. Well, I have no exposure to any programming language. Now, um, how do you expect me to complete this course? Do you think that I'm a good fit for this course? Um, well, I will be very, very, very blunt with you, very candid with you, will tell you exactly the way it is. I mean, no sugar coating, not trying to, um, you know, tease you into this course, not trying to tempt you into this course, joining the course. I'll tell you exactly the way it is, right? Okay. If you hear about the word automation, if you hear the word automation, right, that means that you have to you have to program believe it or not you have to write some program you have to write some code right or you say wow there it is I mean you know I you know he says that I have to write a program I've never uh, done any programming in my previous life um, you know there is something there's something you do for the first time in your life some do it sooner some do it, you know, a little later in their life. There, I mean, my mother, my mom, she learned driving when, when she was 60 years old. All her life, she was in India. She, I mean, we hardly get a, I mean, get a chance to sit in a car. I'm talking about uh, uh, 30, 40 years ago uh, when she was young, right, and we were babies. So, uh, I mean, India at that time was a poor country, right? So hardly people had any cars or anything like that. So I just cannot imagine my mother driving or owning a car or driving a car in India. But she came over here. Now, uh, you know, a few years back, uh, um, she decided that, okay, I have to learn driving. Well, I said, Mom, you are 60 plus, right? You can. She said, no, no, I got to do it. So some people, they, they do it later in their life. And now she got a license. She drives. Don't be surprised if you find an Indian woman driving on 95, uh, uh, you know, uh, in Florida, because that's where my mom lives. And she loves driving on uh, 95 now. Well, so that's that's life. So some people, they got to do it later in their life. Some people, they would be doing programming in their colleges, in their, in their um, you know, uh, bachelor's degree. Some, they got to do it now right now it's not like the end of the world I mean if uh, uh, a 65 year old uh, lady could learn driving at that age uh, why can't you learn programming is programming only for certain people no anybody can learn it I mean I learn it you learn it everybody can learn it so now the question is how difficult it is for you to learn programming right that's that's the real question can you do it let me put it this way uh, it is not rocket science. I mean, we all know, we all agree that we cannot, not everybody in this session can be a NASA scientist. You agree, right? I mean, that's not for everyone. There's only certain people who could do that because that's, that's like, 
you know, very difficult, very hard, very, very tough, out of this world. Programming? No, it's easy. Can you ride a bike? I mean, was it very difficult? No, you did fell down a couple of times, you scrape your legs, uh, but then you, you learn it. Right? I mean, you're not going to scrape your legs when you're doing programming. That I can assure you. But you can learn it. It's not very difficult. It's doable. It's not rocket science. It's doable. Now, the question is um, how difficult it is. Here is the answer. Here is the answer. Right? Um, when it comes to programming, there are, there are five things. Five things that you have to, you have to know. Right? Uh, number one, you have to know about variables. What is a variable? How do you create it? How do you use it in your script? This is what you got to learn, right? Uh, what it is, how you create it, and how you use it in your in your script, right? If you can't read my handwriting, um, you know, forgive me. Um, you know, it's very difficult to write, uh, um, and I have mastered it uh, in many, many, many years. Uh, um, so, but it's still, uh, you know, not... Uh, very good, but hopefully you should be able to make some sense out of it. So five things very important when it comes to programming. Number one, variables. You got to know what is a variable, how do you create it, uh, and how do you use it in your script? How do you populate it? How do you put values into a variable and stuff like that? Second thing, there is something called arrays, right? Um, again, the same thing. What is an array? How do you create it? How do you use it in your script? There is a little bit more about arrays, right? So all this, all this right plus something more what there there are something called a single single dimensional arrays right and then there is something called a uh, multi-dimensional arrays now you would say that i'm already lost i am lost i don't know what you're talking about i have no clue about what is arrays right that's fine today is day one um, this is our one i'm just babbling just listen to me just listen to me and you know we are not charging you anything for listening um, because you know if you have not paid uh, that's fine right you could walk away at the end of this two hours and then that is it we won't be charging you anything for it so just listen listen for uh, you know a few more minutes uh, if not for anything you'll just uh, increase your general knowledge of what is there in any programming language so any programming language there is a variable there are arrays and then there is something called you got to be knowing as function what is a function how do you create a function is it very difficult to create a function let me put it this way variables now, am I going to be taking um, 20 hours to learn about variables? If I say that, 20 minutes is what I want you to give me, and you will learn almost everything you want to know about variables, right? 20 minutes. How about arrays? I would say um, an hour and 20 minutes, right? Hour and a half. Tops, tops. Forever in your life you would be remembering, you would be knowing what is an array. Because I'll show you probably like in an hour and a half. I'm, I'm just exaggerating when I say an hour and a half. I would say like half an hour. But, you know, let it be an hour and a half, right? Because you would do it like one more time, two more times, three times, right? Each time it will take 30 minutes. If you do it three times, like an hour and a half. I mean, anything you do the third time, probably you'll become an expert. Even if you are like, no, I'll not go there. Um, okay, so functions, right? Uh, what is a function, right? How do you create a function? How do you use a function in your script? These three things, right? Okay, for functions, how long? Man, two hours, right? Again, tops, 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 right? Two hours. Okay, so you said five things. You just told me only three things. How about the other remaining two? What are those two things? I'm dying to know. Can you please tell me what are the other two things? Okay, number four, you have to know about conditional logic, right? If my wife is happy today, she's going to feed me uh, pudding, right? Some, some desert, some, 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 some good thing she will. If she's mad, I'm not going to get my food, right? So, conditional logic. If she's happy whatever the condition is if my girlfriend is happy uh, she would give me this otherwise so this is what it is right so let's say and if now i am uh, this is a something called a pseudo 
pseudocode, meaning that just jumping out of my mind and I'm just writing it, right? The syntax, pseudocode means your idea, not the exact syntax, not, not the exact syntax. The code is not like that. This is, this is the code from, what I've written is the code from VB, VB, Visual Basic Script, right? Now, the languages are different but the concepts are the same meaning that american guys mostly are let's say white race if you take the american white guys now if there are five guys there's a chinese there is an indian there is an you know, a white guy and you just looking at them you could say that ah he's he's from india he's from you know china he's from um africa because you know god had created you know people like that and put them in that part of the world Right. And all of a sudden, I mean, things are changing in another 50 years or 100 years. Uh, probably it's going to be very difficult to find out, like, who is who. Right. Because, you know, the world is becoming smaller now. Um, but so likewise, uh, as far as looking, if you look at the code, you should be able to tell what language it is from. So there are different languages you could write your code in. There is something called C language. There is something called C sharp dot net. There is something called VB dot net. There is something called Java. There is something called now. Uh, why should I keep saying all this? Why can you say something? So I need to know who out of 15, 16 people who are in this session can give me some more programming languages. Just go, go for it. Go for it. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, okay. So I have people saying that, oh, uh, there's one here. So Chaya says, okay, PHP. All right. Now, JavaScript says, Umar, uh, how about you, um, rest of you folks? Say something. Say something. Even whatever is up there, I don't mind. Okay, uh, Vidya says HTML, right? We'll come back here and we'll talk about a little, I did question mark out there. Okay, uh, Chris uh, says, uh, um, C++. Okay, how about the rest of you folks? Say something, right? Now, uh, why am I pushing you to say something? Because I want to I wanna see how long did it took for me to doze you off, right? Um, some of you might be like, ah, I had a long day and then it took like 15 minutes for him to put me to bed. And... <laughs> So if you don't answer, then I know that while well, you're not here. So Vidya says Ruby. Okay. I mean, um, just for some of you folks who are not really interested in participating, I would say that just for the heck of it, just say something, right? Okay. Uh, I have uh, Python. <laughs> okay. All right, so I appreciate, uh, I appreciate, I mean, I don't have to struggle this much to get something out of, uh, out of you, just, so just say something, all right, okay, thank you, uh, thank you all of you for participating, that's, uh, that was my intent, that you should uh, participate, okay, so these are so many different languages, uh, except for HTML, which we'll come back and say why this is not a language, even though HTML, hypertext markup, L stands for a language, but unfortunately, this is not a language, right? So what makes something as a language, right? Basically, what it is, is if it offers you, if it offers you uh, things like logic in it, it, it should offer you logic. Logic is if certain condition, if certain condition is true, if certain condition is true, do this, right? Else, else, do something else. Right? So that's conditional logic. So out of the five things, variables, arrays, functions, conditional logic, which is if statements. Right? And the fifth thing here is, uh, I'm going to move this box a little bit here so that I can make some space. And the fifth thing is, um, you have to do things again and again and again and again and again and again. So that is called looping. Right? So you should know as how to write a loop. So there are different types of loops when it comes to programming. The most popular loop is called a for loop. So we should be knowing about for loop. There are other loops like a while loop, do while loops and stuff like that. But we will be focusing on what is called a for loop, right? Okay, what are the five things that we as a tester 
right? You and I, as a tester, we need to know in terms of uh, learning a programming language. Now, the five minimum five things that we need to know is how to create a variable, what are arrays, um, how I can create a function, can I write some code, meaning using some logic, which is conditional logic, if some, something is true, then do this, else do that, else if do that, else if do that, else do that. Okay, and then finally, keep doing something which is, you know, uh, using something called loops, right? If you know how to do it, these five things, then you're good to go. So, unfortunately, or fortunately for us, we will be using a language called Java to learn these things. If you come to a different class, which is c uh, Selenium with c .net, I will show you all of these five things using a language called c -sharp. If you come to my QTP class, I'll show you using VBScript. If you come to my load runner class, I'll show it to you using C language. If you come to my SOAP UI class, I'll show you using something called Groovy. Groovy, right? If you come to my Ruby class, I'll show it to you how to do it through Ruby. Basically, it's all the same thing. Same thing, same thing, same thing. The language is different. Now, do you need to, if you want to get a driving license, do you need to know how to drive on every car? There's a Hyundai out there. There is an Acura out there. There's a Honda out there. There is an um, BMW. There is a Mercedes. Do you need to go and take a test in each and every uh, car? The answer is no. You just know one. That's fine. That's exactly what it is when it comes to programming. You know, no one language, basically the same thing, accelerator, brakes, wipers, air conditioning, same thing, variables, arrays, functions, conditional, same thing, whether you go into this uh, PHP, Java, c .net, Ruby, Python, same, 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 right? So, uh, focus, learn it, learn, and the best language as far as learning something um, could be uh, this. Why? Not because I am telling you, because there's a huge demand for your Java, right? So what is the better way of learning something um, rather than, you know, learning by using something that is very hot in the market? If you really want to get married, why don't you go for the best? I mean, I know these days uh, the... <sighs> I mean, I have to take a deep breath because uh, uh, <laughs> um, the concept of getting uh, married these days uh, is slowly um, becoming sort of like out of fashion because, uh, uh, you know, why go take responsibility? Why get married to somebody? Uh, you know, just have fun, right? Um, but it is always better. Right. Uh, if you do the things the, the proper way. So uh, it's always better to learn the language using one of the best language which is out there, which is Java, even though you could learn like C, you could learn uh, PHP, you could learn. Now, if there is a need for you to do that. Now, some companies, they might be using PHP. Um, well, if that's that's what it is, then you have to. Right. Um, some companies might be using C++. If that's the reason, then you have to. Right. OK. Otherwise, uh, the most common language that is out there is Java. OK, so we'll be learning Java and we will be uh, putting uh, our uh, understanding of this language to use by uh, creating what is called frameworks. So the objective, the goal of this course is what uh, to build to build frameworks. That is the objective to build frameworks. OK, now. Uh, what is a framework uh, and uh, how are we going to build it and all that? Uh, we'll talk about it. So the goal is to build a framework, right? Uh, to this framework is we are building to do what? To uh, test uh, web applications. So is there anybody out there who doesn't know what a web application is? A web application is something that runs in a browser that runs in a browser. Now, so uh, what runs in a browser? You would say that, uh, what kind of a question is that? Uh, today, when I go into to the internet, I see that everything is running in a browser. Like this is, this is something which is uh, in a browser. Now you say that, what is there to test here? 
what, what, what sort of automation I'm doing here? What is there to test? I mean, if this is a website, if this is a web website, what kind of testing can I do on this website? The maximum testing that I could do on this website is, ah, if I go to this, uh, uh, if I click on this, is it showing you the right page? If I go uh, under it, if I go into and click on that, is it taking me to the right page? Right, that kind of a um, um, you know behavior of this website. Now, uh, the they're not going to pay you sixty-five dollars an hour for checking that. For that, they have manual testers who they would pay like thirty bucks, thirty-two, thirty-four dollars an hour, and then they would be doing the testing. What is automation? Automation is nothing but the ability to test the behavior of your application. What is the behavior of an application? So there could be something like uh, something like this. Every website has something called a login functionality, right? The behavior or the or the functionality of this login feature is if somebody comes and enters their username, in this case it's a phone number, and if they enter uh, the password, right, and click on submit, it should it should do something. Do what? It should not take you to YouTube, but it should let you access this website, right? So, uh, if you look into uh, this behavior, if you, sorry, one second. If you look into this behavior, now let me enter 732-998-6650. That is the username and the password is the word uh, password. And when I click on submit, and it allows me inside this website. And once I am inside the website, I could go and click on my account and see, uh, oh, I was expecting. Now, think about it. When you click on my account, what do you expect? You expect something about that. Right here is a bug. Right here is a bug, right? Because when you click on my account, you expect it to be something. Right? But it did not show me that. Right? Let's say if I click on uh, this, will it show me something? Right? So when you click on that, all it is showing you something in here. It is showing you something in here. It is taking you something. Right? So that's one feature. Now, let me take you to something like this. Right? Um, what do you see when you see here? Now you would see oh, there are some cameras and then there are. Uh, that's fine. Right, but what is going into your head right now? This is a website. It is offering some items here. Those items can be purchased. Add to card can be purchased. So when you have something that can be purchased online, that is nothing but an e-commerce application. An e-commerce application. In an e-commerce application, you have behaviors. You have functionality. What functionality do you have in an e-commerce application? This is the basic functionality of an e-commerce application, right? Number one, think about it. Number one is the ability, the ability to search for a product. Now, if you are testing, uh, if you are testing an e-commerce website, in an e-commerce website, you have to search for a product. Right. I mean, the e-commerce website could be something like uh, um, as a, a prominent website like uh, uh, like Amazon.com. What do you do on Amazon.com? You want to buy something, so you go there. And do you already know where it is on Amazon.com? The other day, today, I was shopping around for this, and I will take you there. Um, I don't know if you know about uh, this, but uh, um, there is something called Go GoPro. Uh, yeah, this is the one I was looking for, Hero 4, right? So this is this is a camera, right? This is a camera. Uh, it comes in uh, black and it comes in silver. Uh, and this is like the regular one. Regular one is, you don't want to buy that. So you want to buy this one. I have I have this uh, GoPro Hero 3 and I want to go with the 4 right now. Uh, so uh, it's not about the product. Uh, you, you know, uh, your focus right now, you know, with my, what I'm trying to show you, it is going more on this product now. Now you are worried about what the heck is a GoPro Hero 4? Why, what is this and why he's, no, 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 no. 
don't focus on that focus on as a tester you got to focus on oh here is the e-commerce site they have so many things on this website they have uh, camcorders uh, they have uh, uh, let me just show into the main category so they have uh, some video uh, action cameras they have electronics they have uh, SD card and they have you name it they, they have it on amazon.com right so you could you could go buy uh, this and you could see how you know what different things you could be buying bedding this that 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 that, that right so but I search for something so the the idea here is if I search for a product if I search for a product it should display that product right now one or more right but it should display that product if I search for GoPro Hero 4 it should not show me a TV right that would be wrong behavior of the application so coming back to uh, why I'm not taking you to amazon.com and why I brought you here okay uh, the answer to that is when when you want to teach somebody when you want to teach somebody or when you are learning some uh, something right you want to learn uh, let's say English should I start you by bringing a book um, and talking about Shakespeare or should I start you with a, a for an apple or B for an boy that's where you expect me to start or do you expect me to start at like Shakespeare of course you expect me to start at ABC so that's the reason I did not bring you here because this is cluttered cluttered meaning so much of stuff in here that it will take away your concentration you're looking at this 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 Geico you're looking at this you're looking at that and all of a sudden rather than lear learning something now you are like into okay what is this what this can do now you're reading this now your time is all wasted right I shouldn't be saying wasted but you are you are you have been dragged away from your primary task that is to learn selenium so almost similar functionality but I'm, I'm not gonna take away by showing you glamorous product that your attention would is gonna you know go into something else here there's a, there's a there's, you don't even want to see it the next time unless you have to come and learn right who is interested in this camera I mean who in the world right I mean this probably is like 15 year old camera right because these pictures have been using it for literally past like 10 years right so um, the idea here is as a part of uh, an e-commerce application you have to search for a product right so we will we will be learning uh, as how to uh, we will be coming up with a test case wherein these are my different test cases one would be like uh, the ability to search for a product so here is my product I will go in here and I will search for a pro product I will type Panasonic and hit enter that's a product and I could show 200,000 different products of Panasonic but again that would take away your concentration so the 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 result of my search is to show something it is showing right okay that's good what else can I do as a part of an e-commerce if you go to a mall if you go forget about mall if you go to your grocery store what do you do you just stand there no you take your cart and you're just pushing your cart all along I mean if you're like me sometimes I've done that I you know I would be so bored to death there is nothing happening so I'll just go and take my cart just go around and then don't know what to do and then kill some time looking at people or whatever and then you know come back without buying anything but that would be a waste of the time I mean who would do that nobody would do that you would be insane if you keep doing that again and again once or twice is fine so if you come to a website the idea here is if you keep coming in here the idea is you would buy something the way you're gonna be buying something is adding something to the card so your test case would be the second test case that you would do is um, add items items to the shopping cart right okay now so that's the second test case that you would be doing now how are we going to do it how are we going to automate it how are we going to write the Java code for that how are we going to use selenium for that how we come up with the reports how we create the whole frame that's exactly what we're going to be learning as a part of this course now you would say that um, do, don't you think that this uh, eight sessions are going to be too uh, uh, little of a time for me to learn all that oh, uh, good question um, the answer is uh, today is the only day you find me babbling you find me like talking this and starting from 
uh, the next 15 20 minutes starting from the time it's all gonna be hands-on your eyes are gonna come out they're gonna be like uh, if you watch any uh, cartoon show right uh, Tom and Jerry right I enjoy that a lot right I uh, used to watch it when I was a kid then uh, I watch with my kids uh, so you have the eyes like coming out right you enjoy it right because you're like so much into that um, it's almost gonna be same situation your eyes are gonna ding, come out and then you would love what you're doing here that is my promise to you not to have just fun we will keep the original the main objective the main objective you and I we are here is because um, you would say that come on that's not the reason I'm here I'm not here for money I'm here for uh, knowledge oh, well I mean what are you gonna do with that knowledge I mean learn something else go and learn yoga that'll help you oh, why in the world you would just use selenium as a knowledge and not make money the idea here is make money make lot of money and guess what you will make that money how are you going to make that money if you follow what I tell you to do now for the next four weeks you gotta divorce your girlfriend you gotta divorce your boyfriend you gotta just kick them out right tell your friend no more talking to me I am learning selenium you and selenium intimate relationship intimate relationship no texting with your boyfriend no texting with your girlfriend forget your wife if your husband oh he would be in heaven because you're not talking to him for another four weeks guess what he <laughs> he would be buying more courses uh, <laughs> at least that's what I would do uh, anyways um, the idea here is uh, I want you to uh, make money how are you going to make that money you are going to make that money not because I'm telling you you are going to make that money because if you go to dice.com and if you say ah let's look for selenium jobs right okay there you go and believe it or not right uh, obviously then no this is because I am looking for Hickswell in New York so let's say in I don't even know what Hickswell is um, or where it is but if you look it up there are many jobs in selenium there are many jobs in selenium I'm telling you um, there is you know one of the reasons um, um, companies like us right whatever money we make I mean 399 is not a big deal for this course it's not gonna make you poor or not gonna make us rich but you know th th this is business you are here to learn something we got to charge you something so that's why we came up with that price but with the investment of your time right you take away the money part right I mean 400 bucks big deal but the investment of your time if you put in one month of serious investment again I mean I have nothing to do with your with your husband or with, with your wife right but there's a reason I'm telling you to forget about them only because you love them because you want you want to do more for them the only way that you could do more for your parents or for your loved ones is focus focus make it happen not because I'm telling you that it is there are jobs out there the people the companies are looking for people with good talent and if you submit yourself right if you if you give yourself to me for the next four weeks right I'm not even looking at you so what am I gonna do to you what I meant by submitting is uh, listen to every word that I tell you follow every little direction that I give you I promise if you put in serious effort serious effort there's a lot of money to be made because um, as a tester as a tester um, you must know certain things and my job in this next four weeks by God by God my job is to make sure that I will transfer the knowledge right 18 years of my experience I will do my best to transfer that knowledge in this eight sessions plus on top of that I am going to give you so many videos in here that you will be glued this 40 to 60 hours of videos is what you're gonna be getting right and these videos will cover every scenario that you would possibly be coming across at work 
They'll be asking you, um, we want, I mean, when I say certain things right now, it might sound like gibberish to you. You're like, what is he saying? I mean, I have no clue what he's talking about. So I will not go too much into it, but I'll tell you that they might be asking you, well, uh, we want you to do unscheduled, um, you know, uh, testing using ANT, A-N-T, not your ANT, but ANT, A-N-T. So first of all, what the heck is an ANT? I, there were a lot of ants biting me when I was young. Um, here, you hardly see any ants here in the United States. Come on, there's nothing. No fun in this country. I mean, you know, in my countries, we could not sleep. I mean, going to bed was a challenge because all night we would, we would be fighting with the mosquitoes there. In the night, you fight with the mosquitoes. Uh, there's a big challenge in, 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 in the morning when you get up, whether you will get water to take a shower or not. That's a big challenge. And in the afternoon, and there is no power. I mean, you know, you're sweating profusely, like uh, as if like you took a bath, but then there is no water. So you are sweating, and that's your, that's your shower. I mean, that was my country, man. I was proud of it. We loved that country. Here, there's nothing, no ants, no mosquitoes. There is water every time you go. You can take a shower. You turn, there is uh, electricity. There's no fun here, right? Everything is given, like you are in, in heaven, and every evening you watch Fox News, and that's your hell time, right? <laughs> if you want to be in hell, watch Fox News. Um, anyways, so um, any Fox News fans in here? Sean Hannity fans? Uh, Bill O'Reilly's fans, any Republicans here? <laughs> uh, anyways, okay. Um, you see, I like to have a little fun. Otherwise, this will become a very, very dry topic and dry subject. So I uh, kind of like, like to have a little fun. So that should not take away what we intend to do in here. The intention here is we want to make money, and money can only be made if you have a knowledge. And knowledge can be... Um, obtain if you put in some effort and the effort is to learn selenium because there are many jobs out there right doesn't matter what part of the country you are in there are jobs you need to know certain things what are the things that you need to know well those things are listed here as i said in your leisure time you go and take a look into what we will be covering so everything is listed in here right okay with that said uh, why don't we uh, get started a little bit so if you are going to do some testing you would be testing uh, web applications this was an example of an application it's an e-commerce website in an e-commerce website you could have test cases which is to test the functionality or the behavior of a website what kind of website if it is an e-commerce website you will be searching for a product e-commerce is uh, if you go to ebay.com if you go to amazon.com any place where you would put in your credit card and buy something so putting in a, a credit card is basically the payment right so you will only pay if you add items to the shopping cart after you add the items well you don't want to buy everything when you come to the cashier, you find that, oh, can you please check the price on this one? Okay, I mean, I'm talking about myself. I don't, you know, want to say anything about you. Sometimes when I see it very expensive, I'm like uh, looking around and seeing if there is anybody, there's nobody there. I'll politely tell the cashier, um, you know, I'll buy this sometime later, right? Um, but if there is some um, good looking, um, you know, person in the line, then even though I don't want to buy it, but... He or she is looking, so you got to buy it, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I will keep it aside if I cannot afford it. So um, the idea here is what is that? If you want to remove something or if you want to add something, that is called modifying your shopping cart. Modifying is adding and removing. Removing what? Items from where? From the shopping cart. Okay. All righty. So that's one of the behavior, that's one of the test cases that we would be doing. So some of the test cases that we will be doing as a part of an e-commerce website is search, adding items, modifying items. Modifying items in a shopping cart is removing it. Or if you like it too much, you want to add one more, one for you and one for your brother-in-law, right? Because that's the person you want to give some gifts, right? Because you want to keep them happy, your in-laws happy. Otherwise, uh, you better watch Fox News. 
Okay, coming back to the fourth point. What is the fourth point uh, or the text, uh, test cases, let's say, when you come to uh, an e-commerce site? Uh, after you have purchased everything, next thing is you want to pay for it, right? So payment, right? So you got to do uh, some testing for a payment. Now, when you are doing a payment, these days you do, majority of the times these days you do a uh, credit card, right? So when it comes to credit card, you, there are certain things right uh, good card bad card right so how do you do the testing for a good card and a bad card well you will be uh, here in United States uh, uh, we have so many cards right there's a visa card there's a master card there is a discover card there is a diners card there is an Amex card um, but what if there's a global website alibaba.com alibaba.com Right? What a name they they uh, st stole, right? It's a Chinese. When did Chinese uh, uh, learn about Alibaba? Alibaba, I think, is uh, either Middle Eastern or probably like, uh, you know, maybe Middle Eastern. But a Chinese company uh, owns Alibaba. Anyway, so Alibaba uh, will take different websites. Uh, different uh, credit cards, right? So if they're taking different credit cards, then we got to be knowing what are the different credit cards that are existing out there in the world. So you have to prepare something called a test data. So test data, um, there can be, you know, different types of credit cards. So you got to have a, some knowledge about what kind of, uh, uh, what some I call uh, your uh, credit cards are there. Give me a second here. Um, let me see. Uh, already. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I'm not sure. I'm just looking into some of the test data that I have here. Mm -hmm. uh, no. I'm just going to show you some uh, of the good test data that uh, we have, different types of credit cards that you could be using for um, your, as a test data. But uh, I don't know where I kept that data. So if I, yeah, here it is. Okay, so uh, the types of the cards, American Express, uh, American Express Corporate, Australian Bank Card, um, JCB, um, have no idea even how to pronounce that, Bank Court. Um, <clears throat> well, um, so when you have this test data, uh, these are different numbers of the credit cards, right? Uh, this is the expiration date uh, in terms of month, uh, year, and amount to process and all that. So we will be taking this data which is sitting inside a credit card uh, or a Excel uh, as a part of each credit card transaction and we have to read it from Excel and we have to pass it to the script and do all the testing for that. So that we will be doing when it comes to the payment uh, processing. Then after that, once we make the payment, uh, we expect the stuff that we bought to be shipped to our house, right? So that will take care of the shipping, right? So we will be testing the shipping uh, portion of it. So when it comes to an e-commerce, these are the possible, possible test cases. Now, what if you are not doing the e-commerce uh, website? What other website can we be doing? Well, uh, there are domains. There is a uh, finance domain. There is a telecom domain. There is a, a pharma domain. There is a, uh, uh, I don't know what else, uh, uh, brokerage, uh, financial brokerage, uh, and then there. So you could you could keep going. Uh, there's a retail domain. There's a healthcare uh, domain. There is a insurance uh, uh, domain. There, I mean, there is a transportation uh, domain. So it really doesn't matter. I mean, how many can you learn? The idea here is it doesn't matter what the test case is. What matters is how you should bring in all the moving parts together and create a framework. What do you mean by moving parts? Well, in order for you to do automation of searching for a product, you have to, first of all, use something to make it happen, right? So we will be using something called Selenium. 
right now selenium basically is a way to test your browsers right the application in a browser right it's 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 i mean i don't want to get too technical by saying that it's an api to do the testing of the so i don't want to get into that but right now today day one hour hour and a half uh, or first hour still um or a little over because we start 8 30 it's 9 30 right now probably like an hour so um i if you notice what the what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to talk so much so that at the end of it uh it tries to make some good sense by bringing in all of these things that so that you could understand what exactly we are getting into the the main objective here is to learn how to build a framework using uh, selenium along with java right and that's basically the the objective and what this is going to do this is going to help you test a web application so if we are going to test a web application i should be using java as the programming language along with selenium which will help me test the application in a browser right but doing that sometimes the data might be coming from excel so excel is another another player another part of this likewise there is something called and there is something called j unit there is something called test ng there is something called maven there is something called uh, page objects uh, there is something called sbn or there's something called git this now you will be saying what the heck are you doing now you are talking to me so far you were almost trying to make sense now all of a sudden you are talking to me in something that i i don't understand oh, i'm telling you it's okay if you don't understand uh, because uh, when the time is right you will begin to understand all of this you will begin to understand all of this so in order for uh, you to get the confidence of where i am going i have to lay out the plot first right i have to tell you the story of what you are going to build right if you hear me then you will get the idea and then you eventually will will build that that disneyland right so i'm just telling you there will be a mickey mouse in there and there is going to be a goofy there is going to so that's what i'm trying to tell you right now so these are the different things which will be basically be using to build that framework okay all right okay with that said I can keep talking like this, but I think it's better if I start to do uh, something which is hands-on. So what is hands-on? Uh, well, I again, I, I, on day one, it is, it is very challenging. I mean, believe it or not, um, among all the days, uh, day one is the most challenging to teach. Believe it or not. Why? Because um, you, you have to, um, at the end of the session, you should go back at least knowing what you are getting into so that you could make an intelligent decision that yes this is for me i can do it i can handle i can make money this guy seems to be um you know i should believe this guy because he at least will make a serious attempt and he's not just you know kidding around he just is not interested in my uh 399 dollars he means business if i could if i could um confidently instill uh, that in your head in this next um, hour hour and a half I I, I would have uh, you know reached uh, my objective which is to make sure that today you should know what you are getting into of course I should not be telling you stories but I should also be showing you the technical stuff and that is exactly what I am going to do now what I am going to do now is I'm going to talk a little bit about selenium right okay what the heck is selenium right okay now before we answer that question uh let me also put qtp here right now let me say give equal respect to qtp and say what the heck is qtp right now most of you are like oh we already know what qtp is i already used qtp Oh, QTP is a tool that can do automation testing. Well, that's that's 
That's true. QTP can do automated testing. Automated testing of what? Well, QTP can do uh, client server. Uh, QTP can do uh, web. Uh, QTP can do uh, mobile. And QTP can, so QTP can do all this, right? Um, Selenium, can it do client server? Uh, no. Can it do web? Yeah, web it can do. It can do. It can also do mobile. It can do, right? QTP, for you to do anything with QTP, you have to start with $10,000. Minimum 10000 Minimum. If I, if I want to hire a tester, um, that tester is going to be a QTP tester. Before the tester can move his finger on the keyboard, I have to almost spend like 10000 to 12000 to 15000 20000 buying a license for QTP because QTP is a licensed product. Meaning that it's a commercial product, meaning I have to buy it. Selenium, ah, free, free, free. Free is good, right? For some, free is not good. When it comes cheap, they put a zero value to it. They think that it is a bad product because it's free. Uh, people have given it out for free. That means that uh, it, it's not of any worth, right? My older sister, right? Her way of um, uh, gauging things like... Uh, <laughs> Um, I am very scared going out uh, shopping with her because uh, um, to test her, we did it a couple of times. Let's say if you if you bring the same product, two things, and on one, if I put a price tag of like uh, uh, $300, and on the other one, if I put a price tag of $50, she's not even going to look at that $50. She will straight go to that $300 stuff because in her head, she thinks if it is expensive, it, it has to be good. She will not look at anything but the price to make that decision. So, I mean, she's my older sister, so I can't say much about her. I mean, she's a nice lady, but uh, she's wrong. So anybody who thinks that Selenium being free is not good, they are wrong. Why they are wrong? Because Selenium is used by a company like Google. Google is the world's biggest software company. If they are using Selenium, Selenium better be good because if they are putting their um, confidence in this product called Selenium, that means that that product can do some stuff, right? Okay, so uh, free doesn't mean that it's not good. So now the question is, um, Selenium can do uh, web testing, right? So uh, let's talk about Selenium. What what are the different things that we need to know about Selenium? Okay, in Selenium, Selenium comes as Selenium comes in these three forms. There is something called uh, Selenium IDE. There is something called Selenium RC server, and then there is something called Selenium web driver. Right? Okay. Um, this is year 2015. We have been providing training since 2010, 2011, right? Um, in the year 2011, this was almost, almost not there. It was beginning to come, right? It was almost not there. I would say to 2010, it was not there. So these two were the only ways we could, we could do the testing at that time. Right, because this was almost not there or just coming out, just coming out. Right. So um, today, if you know this, if you know this and don't know this, um, they will not take you because what they're looking for today is web driver. Right. They're looking for web driver. So uh, our focus in this course is web driver. That's the focus. All the next seven classes, seven classes, I will be doing. Uh, I'll be focusing on web drive. Today I will start and I will finish IDE. I have another 45 minutes. I can very easily start and finish IDE in the next 45 minutes, right? Easily, right? Um, what is IDE and uh, uh, how much of it is supposed, we are supposed to know? Um, if you take a course, believe it or not, right? Uh, and I, for one, don't believe in putting down others to make myself look good. I will never do that. I never did it in my previous life. I will never do it in my, uh, you know, future life. 
um, everyone is free to do whatever they want to do um, good or bad you know they are basically responsible for it um, so you do good you earn good you know you are respected everywhere now with that said there are a lot of companies who will claim to teach you selenium and majority of the time they are spending teaching you uh, IDE very little of let's say web driver right so what is IDE IDE is nothing but record and play or record and run right now I for one I have very little respect for somebody who can do only record and run very little respect it's okay that you should know it but uh, you know I give them very little respect if somebody comes and claims and says that hey I know selenium um, and I could do things uh, using Selenium IDE. Um, I don't know much of uh, web driver. I can I can do things using IDE. I will not hire that person. Unfortunately, I will not hire that person because in real life, IDE is basically used probably around like five percent of the time. Record and run is like five maximum ten percent maximum maximum. 90 percent, 95 percent of the time, you have to write some code. Right. So my focus is my all seven classes. I will be teaching you about code. If you come here in the next class on Wednesday, you will be writing Java code and there will not be one line, not be one line, not be one line. I repeat it three times. Right. Um, <clears throat> um, <laughs> if uh, you as a Muslim, if you say anything three times, that will become yours. <laughs> So, um, when I say three, that means that so much of truth is in there, right? So, um, when I say that, there will not be one line that you will not understand. Meaning that almost every line you will understand when I teach you Java. Almost every line. Because I will, I will show you, I will write, I will write every line of code, almost every line of code and I will explain you and when I write when I explain when I teach you chances are if you become intimate if you love Java and selenium and this class as nothing but you know the only thing that you got to do you will get it you will get it that is that is what my experience tells me because a lot of people in the past uh, when they invest their time when they become very serious about it when they are committed to it it will happen so uh, again java not being rocket science it can be learned it can be taught it can be learned and we will be learning it from a tester's perspective java is a programming language so programmers uh, they learn in depth of java i will not uh, be teaching you in depth of java why you ask because i say you are a tester as a tester you are not required to know in depth of java you know only that much of java that you can create frameworks to do your testing meaning that there are topics and i when i write something here uh, chances are some of you are going to uh, get a little bit overwhelmed and say that this is exactly what i was talking about now he totally lost me again my intention is not to go there but i have to say this only to make a point that i will not be doing something called inheritance i will not be doing something called polymorphism I will not be doing a uh, ceiling of a class right I will not so these are some of the advanced topics that that programmers they need to know if you come to a programming class with me I will make you I will make you a master of this I challenge you and I will make you a master of this since this is not a development class this is not a uh, a class for programmers this class for uh, you know good testers I will cover enough so that we can earn a living respectable living good amount of money at the end of this course I am hoping that you should be making somewhere between forty five dollars per hour to sixty five dollars per hour and I am using conservative numbers here right I'm not exaggerating I'm using conservative numbers <clears throat> today itself 
I had a person who took a course. Um, he found a job in um, Texas, in Dallas. Texas is <clears throat> not New York, right? Texas is not New York, meaning the, the uh, life in New York, right, is the cost of living in New York is pretty expensive right uh cost of living in dallas is cheaper but he got a job today and the job in uh texas is paying him <clears throat> 68 dollars per hour 68 dollars per hour right uh, again no exaggeration it all depends on how you prove yourself in that 15 20 minutes interview <clears throat> so there is an art of taking the interview while we are in this course i will i will make sure that you learn um the tricks of how to how to not get cornered in an interview how to sell yourself selling yourself is to say all the things that can uh make them think twice before rejecting you so what are those things how do you say it right? How do you find yourself coming out of difficult situations in an interview? What you should say, how you should say, what are the points which you should prepare? I will show you everything. So in the next 30 days, you would shower with me. When I say shower, not literally, I mean, God forbid, <laughs> please don't. Um, meaning you would you would repeat, you would say things while you're taking a shower, you would say things what I tell you to do. While driving, you will say, while doing your laundry, you will say. Why? Not because I'm trying to do something, some voodoo and make you like my, no, no, no. The idea here is practice. Keep practicing for the next 30, 40 days so that when you go in that interview, when you sit, it comes like natural water flow as as water flows you don't have to make an effort for the water to flow it very smoothly flows so things should come out of your mouth like that it will only come with practice tiger wood practices he is the champion of golf or at least he was for many 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 years even today after 15 years of 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 all the championships under his belt, he practices. Why? Because you have to practice. So when you go for the interview, it should not be the first time you're saying something out of your mouth. It should have been rehearsed. And that's exactly what we will teach you. I will teach you in this course. It's not just about uh, learning IDE or RC server or web driver or Selenium. We will, you know, also give you some ideas as how to take your interviews. Okay, with that said, um, what part of Selenium I will be finishing off today? Anybody? What part of Selenium I will be finishing off today? Okay, um, now, uh, don't you think I have to start first to finish it, right? I got to get started. Now, I am talking too much and then I have, I'm setting myself up for a failure because it's 9.54 and I said I'm going to start and I'm going to finish by 10.30. Do you think I can do it? Do you think I can? You would say, what the heck I know? I know nothing about it. Maybe you could do it, maybe you won't. What do I know? Well, uh, let's give it a shot, right? Let's give it a shot. I will try in that um, next uh, 35 minutes to start and finish IDE. Okay, first of all, Selenium IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. Are we developing something? Uh, yes or no, right? Okay, first things first, uh, we have to prepare the environment. What do you mean by preparing the environment? Well, if I sit here and if I want to play ball, I have to have a ball first. Right? Then, I, then only I can play. Oh, if I want to do Selenium, I have to get Selenium first. Where would you go to get the Selenium? Right? Well, it's on the internet, so let's get the browser. And let's go to Google, google.com, and say, hey, I want to get Selenium. So I say, Selenium IDE download. And when you do that, it comes to this website. Oh, okay, let's click on that website. And what you see here 
this seleniumhq.org, this is sort of like a Bible, meaning that if you want anything, you go to the Bible and you get the good reference, right? I mean, this this was a proverb today. You have many different books you could go to. Now you would come and say, how about my book? How about you? Okay, go to whatever book you follow. And But we are doing Selenium. You come in here. You come in here. And how do you come in here? Probably if you want to write down seleniumhq.org, you come in here. And then you go to that. This this would be seleniumhq.org if you don't go to download. And here, you got to go to download. Okay, what am I doing right now? I am trying to download IDE. There is Selenium IDE. Very soon we'll come back here because we will do RC server. And then we'll come back here because we want to do web driver. Right now, I am not dealing with web driver. I'm not dealing with RC server. I am dealing with IDE. Okay, so let's see what we want to do with the IDE. Basically, I want to download it. Now, here is something that you have to hear. Right. When you come here, you could have used Internet Explorer, you could have used Google Chrome, but you saw me coming using Firefox. This is Firefox and I used Firefox. See here, Firefox. I used Firefox to come here. Why? Here it is. Selenium IDE is a Firefox plugin. Right. Now, what do you mean by that? What I mean by that is Selenium IDE will work only with Firefox browser. If you do not have Firefox, download Firefox first on your machine, install Firefox. I don't have to tell you how to do that because if you want to watch something, you know how to get there and I don't have to be explicit about it. You know what I'm talking about. So let's not go there. Let's go and download Firefox, which I have already done on your machine. Chances are your machine also has Firefox. Use Firefox to come in here. After you come in here, if you take a look in here, download latest version, which is 2.8 dot o as of september 2014 you're going to be clicking on that and as you click on that when you hear the word download you would think that oh it's going to take like an hour maybe more than that this is a plugin a plugin is going to take a blink of an eye for it to get download so when i click on that believe it or not it is saying that hey i'm ready to download this do you allow me to download of course i allow you to download lo and behold it downloaded already it is saying that hey there are five different things that it we can install now do you want to install ruby formatters do you want to install Python formatters. Do you want to install C sharp, Java for you know it's this is a very, very small piece of software. Doesn't matter. Just say, okay, go ahead, install. And believe it or not, it's done. You would say, how? You would say, okay, restart, restarting computer. No, restarting Firefox. Restart and it takes one Mississippi. Oh, not even one second. It got installed. Where is it? I can't see it. Well, this is what you got to do. You got to go all the way up here where you see this tools, tools, right? And click on that. And lo and behold, you have Selenium IDE. That's it. Installed. Installed. Now, somebody had <clears throat> in my previous batch, they say that, Oh, you told me to go to tools. I don't even have tools on my machine. Well, the reason they don't have tools is because it was like that. And he says, oh, he was calling me and he was sending me emails. He was like, oh, come on. I don't even have you told me to. Oh, my friend, come on. Try. Try. I, you don't ask anybody, how should I breathe? I mean, if you go for an, God forbid, if you want to go for an MRI, you are in that room alone and the machine says, breathe, breathe. And you don't, how do I breathe? No, you don't say that. You breathe because it's natural. So when I say tools, if it is not there, you look around, hey, where is the tool? And you right click here. It says, ah, the menu bar, it's not there. Let me click it. Ah, I have tools now. So there are some things that is common sense. So you have to exhaust all your options before you ask a question. Now, that brings us to an interesting topic. How can you ask us a question after another 30 minutes? Because while you are here, you can ask me this question. After 30 minutes, I'm gone. 
you are gone but you have a question because you woke up at two in the morning you're so excited you have a question and there is no Irfan at two o'clock because I would be fast asleep at that time and you don't have him to ask that question how can you ask that question well if you are a paid member we will give you access to our groups right this is google.com so when you go there so you will be <clears throat> you have to sign in first so you sign it with your Google uh, with your Gmail oops sorry I sign in with my Gmail when I do that and you will see my groups and I being the admin I see I'm the admin of uh, all the groups right I I build all these groups so you will be going into the selenium group in the selenium group you will be made a member of this um, there are a lot of people before you there were a lot of people who took this course so they have already asked so many questions let me just ask let me just go and do a little bit of search on Excel now notice there is already like so many people uh, with the uh, Excel so helper functions for data parameterization using Excel. now this is the code now you're looking at the code and you're like God, I this is too much. This I I I can't do this. You're you're saying this now because you're looking at the code. You're like, wow. You think I can handle it? Um, I would say, uh, if you do this, if you if you if you can do this, do what? If you can copy, if you can copy. Let me tell you this. Um, about. 75% of the times uh, people, testers, automation testers, automated testers, they copy paste. News to you. You are saying, what? What? 75%? Yes. So the code that I will build here, I'll give it to you. 75% of the times you will be using that code with some minor modifications to it. Only 25% of the time you have to use your, your brain. I mean, no offense. No offense. But that is how you have to be a smart tester. You have to be a smart tester, not a hardworking guy. From morning to evening, people are taking bricks on their head. They go up and down, up and down, up and down. And what they earn is like $2, right? I mean, this I'm talking about my country. I mean, labor. I mean, you die when you see those people working. Even today, the guy, Modi, whatever he is, the prime, everyone, oh, he's going to do it. No. I mean, 90% of India is poverty, my friend. I mean, you and I, we are blessed that we are in this country. We are making good money. We will be making a lot of money. But we don't have to struggle and put the bricks on our head and write each and every line of code every time. Oh, Excel workbook, HSS. No, no, no. I will show you the tricks. 75% of the time, copy, paste make money make money grow up the ladder there is a limit for everything doctors can make up to three hundred thousand dollars right and 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 um, a programmer can make up to two hundred thousand dollars a tester in his or her prime time can make up to hundred fifty thousand dollars you will make that money in probably like two three years once you get to that stage to begin with you will be around sixty seventy eighty thousand dollars depending on what part of the country you are in you could be in south dakota and things are not happening there you cannot expect to make ninety thousand if you have a job you should be happy if you are in south dakota why in the world you would be living in south dakota why why did you come here to United States to live in South Dakota no so come to New York come uh, go to California go to Dallas go Chicago live in a happening place make good decent money enjoy life help others that's how it should be with that said I still will be failing if I do not finish it by 1030 right so let's get back to work so my question of bringing you here 
to show you is there is a lot of stuff in here that you could get from our forums. So most of the time, if you have any question, you could do it here, database, and you would find something with the databases. So we'll be showing you the database code and all that. Again, 75% copy paste. In this uh, class, you will get a lot of code that you will take away that is going to help you for years making money, good decent money. With that said, let us come back and do uh, some Selenium. So we were talking about uh, here. Let me uh, go back. So uh, let me ask you this question. Do I have Selenium IDE on my machine right now? Do I have it? Yes, no. OK. Is there any soul in this session, in this room, who does not know as how to get Selenium IDE on your machine? Is there anybody here? And I will repeat it. I'll repeat it. I still got good 23 minutes to finish, start and finish Selenium IDE, and I'll still repeat it. But is there anybody who does not know where to get Selenium IDE from? So I guess there is nobody because all of you, you know how to get Selenium IDE. Now that we have Selenium IDE, we will use a Selenium IDE to do what? To do automation testing. Automation testing of what you ask? I will say of an application. Which application you say? I will say, how about that online um, shopping cart application? Let us do the testing of that application using Selenium IDE. Okay, how do we begin? So we begin by going to the URL of that site. The URL of that site is www.trainingright.net. Uh, dot online dot net not dot com dot net ooh uh, probably I I misspelled okay so this is what it is okay dot net and forward slash online so this is where the application is let us do the testing of this application first test case that I want to automate is the ability to search for a product okay all right so how do I do that well, I go in here and I will go to tools and I will bring in Selenium ID. I will start Selenium ID. Click on that. It starts. What is this? This is that tool, that tool, that Selenium IDE, right? Okay. Now I can make it bigger. I can, I can maximize it or I can keep it like, uh, and let us, um, now let me just go back to the application. This is the application. And where is the tool one more time? that that that's the tool okay all right like any other tool i see that uh we have uh some menu items on the top right menu items on the top and then there is something called fast slow and some buttons here and then there is this area called the test case area and here i see command target value da, 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 right and i also see command target value something like that right okay so this is this is my id E, right this is my IDE let me see how I put this IDE to use how do I do that okay this is what I gotta do first things first I have a test case right the test case that I want to uh, test case that I want to do is the searching for a product so this the test case is uh, what untitled so let me save let me name it as um, search search so I will go file and I will say save test case as save test case as as what? Um, let me go to uh, C drive and in C drive let me make a folder called Selenium. Where is it? Uh, the Selenium C sharp, right? So let me make a uh, Selenium Java. Selenium Java training. Right. Oops. Let, this is the folder. Inside that folder, um, I will have another folder called IDE, IDE test cases. Right. I made a folder. And inside this folder, I will save this. So save this as what? I have to name it, right? So uh, this is what? Search. Search test case. Search a product. Search product test case okay 
All right, so this is the test case. Now it's empty, it's empty. Now, I can record, I can record, I can record whatever I want to do. What do I want to do? I want to search for a product, right? So let me just, um, I want to search for a product. So in order to search for a product, believe it or not, in order to search for a product, what should I do? I'm manually doing it. I'm not using ID right now. I'm manually showing you how to do it. So in order to manually show you how to do it, um, I have to, first of all, disable the recording. Now, is the recording enabled already? So how do I know if the recording is enabled or disabled? Now, uh, I don't know if you paid attention, but you see that there is a red button here, red button. So let's look into that red button and see uh, what that red button is. If I bring my mouse, it says that now recording. So right now it is recording. What is it going to record? If I do anything here on the application, it will record. So if I'm doing a manual testing, let me just stop the recording. If you see now, if I say click to record, that means it's not recording. So let me do some manual testing. Come in here and I have to search for Panasonic or let me search for Sony. Sony, Sony, right? Okay, when I search for Sony, there is one, one thing. So this is the search test, let's say, right? And I want to record it, right? Or let's say I'm searching for... Uh, Panasonic right and click go and I see two Panasonic right okay so let me go to the home page the home page is training right online this is the home page now uh, let me uh, start the recording so to start the recording I will bring this up and I will click on this I'll click on this right now notice notice that there is this command target and value right now I will click on that and I will go in here I'll go in here right and I will type Panasonic right and I will click on this go right that's all I'm doing so let me bring back that and see what happened here if you see here I have one two three things that happen right this is the one this is the second one this is the third one so let's look at the first one open the command is open right okay hang on when I click on this line notice what happens here when so I clicked on this line and it said the command is open open what what is it opening it is opening this website trainingright.net and it is going to this online and it opened that website that's what it is, right? Number one. Next thing is the command is type. Type. Type what? The word. The value is Panasonic. It is typing Panasonic. Where is it typing? It is typing in, in something called TXT search, right? Something called TXT search. Now you would say that, where did it come from? We are doing the recording, right? When we record, wherever we go, it records that. So we went, if you remember, I went to that, that box that was here in the previous page and that was that TXT search, right? And I'll explain you very clearly in the next class by showing it to you how it is TXT search. I'll show you everything about it. So that's what it is. And the next thing is we went on click, right? Click. So that click was on something called go. It looked like a button, but it was like an image. So it clicked on that. So this is our test case. This is our test case. Now you would say that, ah, only three things? I mean, you know, well, right now that's the simplest of all the test cases. So we created, we recorded it. Is the recording still happening? Yes. So am I done with the search test case? Yes. So if I do that, now the recording is over. So let me just go and just save the test case. So it is, it is saved now. The test case is saved. So now what I just did is I recorded, I recorded search product test case, right? Okay, I recorded that. Now, if I want to run it, let's say, if I want to see if I did the automation or not, let me go in the browser, let me go somewhere like, like Yahoo, let me go there, right? And let me now uh, bring up my, 
my test uh, my test case here in IDE and try to run it. So how do you run it? See these buttons, these buttons. Now this area, this area, there's only one test case. So there are two buttons. This play entire test suite. Entire test suite. If I have more test cases, it'll run one by one by one by one. It'll run. Out. I got only one. So uh, one is the entire one. So either I can click on that or I can click on play the current test case. So if I play the current test case, what should happen? The first line is open this website. Right now I'm at Google, uh, not at Google, Yahoo. Right now I'm at Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo. Uh, so it's two hours now. So I will start to get a little tired. <laughs> so uh, when I click on uh, this, it's it's at Yahoo right now. So it's going to go to um, training right online. That's the first line. Second thing is after going there, it'll look for this TXT search and it'll type Panasonic. And third thing is it'll uh, click on that image. That's what it is supposed to do. If my recording is good, it is supposed to do it. This is a very simple one. If it was a large test case, I would have more and more what? Commands. More commands. Because each one is a command. So in other words, in IDE, when you record, you are recording the commands. What are the different commands that you know right now in IDE? Open is a command. Type is a command. Click and wait is a command. There are lot more other commands which we will be dealing with very soon. Right now, that's what it is. So let us run it again. Where should I go to run it? Let's say that command. You go and then click on one, any one of this. Okay, let's do it. I clicked on that. Oh, what? Over? Done? It is so fast. I want to see it. Well, make it slow. Make it slow, right? Go someplace else. This time we are at Google and bring up the test case and slow run. Ah, it comes here. Ah, it types. Ah, nice. You'd say, what a big deal. Come on. This is Selenium. Is this Selenium? What? It, this can't be true. They can be paying me like. $65 an hour. Uh, news to you. This is just the beginning. I will be showing you so many tricks. So many tricks that you don't even have to write any code. Now you are like, no, no, no. That is impossible. They cannot be paying me $65, $70 and I don't even have to write the code. You know what? Believe me, come back with it in the next class and I am going to show you that here, right here, for whatever we did, the code is automatically generated. You don't even have to write one single line of code because everything that we did is already there. You just need to know where it is to go and copy from there. I am not going to show it to you today because I want you to come back in the next class. And I started it at what? Uh, 10 o'clock and it is 1019. So why don't I go and do another test case? What is another test case? Well, uh, how about this? Every company, every company has, every business has new customers. Shall we make a new customer? Well, um, yeah. How do you make a new customer? Uh, oh, there it is. I have it ready. I have everything ready for you. So here is the new customer. Who are we making it as a new customer? I got so many around here. So I'm going to uh, take one here, right? Okay. So we'll make uh, our friend uh, uh, from the bottom, if I see Vidya, right? Okay. Vidya is from a previous class. So I want to take... Uh, uh, I want to take, uh, okay, uh, I'll go, okay, I'll take, uh, okay, Rabia, okay, okay, that's the first name, uh, last name, I will never use your last name, so I will call you as your last name, right, let's say, uh, Rabia dot last name at 
uh, gmail.com, right? And password is password, password is password. And let's say uh, I can't give out Rabia's phone number, can I? I mean, all the other 14 people would be <laughs> Now I just uh, will make up some number. So the number is uh, 888. Trust me, I swear this is not her number. <laughs> Don't even try. Uh, okay, so that's that number, right? So I will just remember that number. And uh, this could be her cell phone number. Um, okay, and we will say that uh, uh, Rabia is uh, a, a VIP something like that all right okay so if I click on submit this is making a new customer it's a new account so I did all this as a manual as a manual testing right now imagine if I have to create a automation for this now will you allow me to ask you this question if I have to automate this using selenium IDE how much time how much time do you think I'm going to take? And you will take. Come on, let's let's be realistic here. You tell me. I have to automate it using Selenium IDE. How much time do you think it is going to take? A day? Answer is no. Is it going to take an hour? Answer is no. Is it going to take 10 minutes? The answer is no. Is it going to take five minutes the answer is uh, maybe maybe so less than 10 minutes right now is there any test out there using selenium ide that you would you would be taking like two hours to do it well you would say i don't think it should be two hours but maybe like half an hour okay half an hour is fine if you if you say that this will take you half an hour that's fine at least you are making like sixty five dollars an hour half an hour at least thirty five dollars to do what something that I'm gonna show it to you like in two minutes right now you say that this this there's something not right here it it, it it's not the case I mean you're making it it's too good to be true you are saying right now because I'm reading your mind right now that's exactly what you're saying the answer is yes it is too good to be true because I told you that IDE is what I told you what is the idea I, I gave you a number when it comes to IDE I said 5% of the time right and that means that 95% of the time you have to write the code but did I show you the trick to get the code from the IDE and where to put it how to put did I show no so that is what we are going to be learning. Do you think it is going to be like you pulling your hair out? You think that I will make you pull your hair out? No. I will give it to you in such a way that you would love it. And that's exactly what we are going to do. Have fun, learn it, invest our time and make it happen end of 30 days you should be a happy guy a happy girl you should be uh, floating your resume out sitting taking that interview whistling get that job and be happy forever and then you know say good things about who not me say good things about training right and at the same time your effort 90 percent of the time is your effort I could be sitting here and babbling 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 but if you're not paying attention do you think that you're gonna get the job no so your effort your effort 90 percent your effort you put in that effort my job is just to show you simply how to do these things but your job is much more important that is to learn and the way you could learn is by investing your time so how about in the next five minutes we automate this let's do it yeah okay let's do it so how are we going to do it oh it's easy so you should bring up you should bring up uh selenium so here is the ide there's already a test case in here so let's close that right and bring it up right so it starts off with the new one so we go we say save test case as and this is going to be uh, training right new customer test case okay good now what should I do I should start off 
right? There's already there's already a lot of information about her, right? So since we are in the recording, I will I will stop the recording and I will <coughs> excuse me. Okay, I'll start start again, right? Okay. So here is what I'm going to do. I will I will start the recording. Here is starting the recording, right? Click on that to start the recording. Come in here. Uh, name. Uh, name is Omar, right? Last name is last name. Uh, Omar uh, dot last name at gmail dot com. Uh, password is password. Password is password. Home phone number. Uh, that is Omar's first home phone number. That's his cell phone number and uh omar is uh 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 selenium uh expert okay all right and submit okay all right so here it says that okay customer information added successfully we are still recording it so just out of curiosity did it do it Ooh, nice look at that we got so many things here right okay what is all this let us stop the recording let us stop the recording scroll up here open this type omar type last name that 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 that, 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 that. okay all that all right now let us see if it runs it if it runs it i should be able to do what i should be able to first of all let me just uh, save it and if i run it if i run it it should be able to create omar one more time so let me just go away from here go where oh, how does it matter go anywhere go here maybe it's screencast uh, wherever right and let us um run this shall we do a slow yeah let's do a slow and do this okay it should go to that site there it is type omar last name omar last name gmail password password da 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 okay click on submit lo and behold my test case is passed meaning everything it did i have a green thing that means that my test case is a pass everything is done so what we just did is we did automation using selenium ide here is the assignment for you here is the assignment for you right i want you to go and do a test case for um this one right um i this is the omar's phone number right so i'm going to take omar's phone number and i'm going to go uh here trainingright.net so here is the assignment I want you to <clears throat> do the assignment wherein we show the login, login test case, login test case. I showed you how many test cases. I showed you the test case for new customer. I showed you the test case for e-commerce, right? I, I did not show you anything about the login. I want you to do the login test case wherein we should be able to create a successful login. So when I click on that, this is this is Omar's phone number. This is Omar's password. When I click on that, I should find Omar in here. And lo and behold, we have Omar here. Why do we have Omar two times? One was manual and the other one was with automated. So we have two, right? I mean, in real life, you'll have only one. But this being a testing site, we have two. So we have Omar and we have Omar here. So this is what, so you have to do the automation. So assignment is do the automation testing for uh, for a login so you have to come up with the data you have to come up so how in order to do this you have to do you don't do for Omar you don't do for Omar <clears throat> you have to do it for whoever so in order to do successful login indirectly I'm telling you to do this because unless you have a new customer you cannot have a login for that customer you cannot have it. so indirectly i'm telling you to do two right okay it's 10 30 right now i want any person in here who thought i would not be able to show you about ide before 10 30. so i said i will show you about ide and i i almost showed you 
almost you know lot of IDE there are a few other things that I'll be showing it to you in the next class uh, but uh, with your assignment of what I showed you, uh, this is what I would come to know if you complete the assignment. You have to complete the assignment and you have to uh, take a screenshot and then you have to uh, show me the screenshot and you have to send me uh, basically that test case because we saved the test case, right? We saved the test case so you also would be saving the test case. Uh, so when you save the test case, you will send me the test case and I will take your test case and I will run it. So inside it will be your test case so you can just um, <clears throat> send the test case. So when you do the assignment, what would I know when you do the assignment? This is what I, I want you to hear me. When you complete the assignment, I would know that you not only went to seleniumhq.org, but you downloaded Selenium IDE on your Firefox you know as how to create a test case, not one test case, but more than one test case because in order to do the login, you have to have the new customer. So you would have done new customer, you would have done uh, login. And with that, I know that you have done some hands on, hands on, right, on Selenium IDE. Selenium IDE is almost like in the next class, I will finish it, right? Um, because I have to show you that all what we have done, uh, there is a code that God generated for that. That's what I will be starting off in the next class. So when you come here in the next class, I want you to uh, at least download IDE, complete the assignment. And for those of you who are sitting on the sidelines thinking whether to take this course or not take this course, my suggestion to you is go for it. <clears throat> this would be the best $400 investment of your life. If you, if you believe me in the past two hours, if you think that I was able to transfer whatever knowledge, simple knowledge, you will find in the remaining seven classes, I will do a hell lot more than what I have done. I will talk continuously for two hours two hours, I will give you a lot of information in the next seven classes. I promise you, I will make you learn Selenium. With that, I'm going to end here. I'll take your questions if you have any. Okay. Anybody who would like to talk, we can talk. Otherwise, I'm going to take a, what's the URL to register new customer? Um, the URL to register new customer is this. I will uh, copy paste in the chat. Uh, that's the URL. Okay. I hope you got it. Uh, <clears throat> which email we should be sending the assignments to? I will uh, assign men's plural at trainingright.com. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, after training, how long will it take to get a job? From past, it was impossible to get a manual testing job since I had no coding <clears throat> skills and automation skills. How hard uh, is the interview process? Manual testing interviews uh, were punishing. Okay. I hear you. Okay. Uh, this is what my uh, answer to that question is. 